Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm back here at the Red Brick House. Thank God Joe Boo has been holding it down, taking care of business, and making sure nothing happens bad here. So shout out to you, Joe Boo. I appreciate you. I, I don't want to tell him. I just forgot him. I don't want I don't want to do that. I, I definitely don't want to sell that. So we are basically 48 hours and 15 minutes away from teams having to have their roster cut downs done. It doesn't mean they have to wait until then, but they have to be finished by 4 o'clock Eastern on Tuesday. And so, you know, this is always that tense time of year where you wonder who's going to make it and stuff. You always have guys that are the fan favorites that you hate to let go. And one of those has to be Deuce Vaughn. Deuce Vaughn, five foot six, 176 pounds. Deuce Vaughn, okay, mighty might. Or as Jerry Jones called him last night, you know, because see, Jerry Jones was a little hangry yesterday. Jerry Jones was definitely not happy and pointed out that, you know, he's enjoying making people feel uncomfortable because of the Green Bay loss. One of the few bright spots he had besides, you know, Trey Lance was Deuce Vaughn. He's got a nickname for him, okay? Jerry Jones, Jones called him Gadget Juice. <laughs> you know, I just love me that Gadget Juice, okay? I thought he was thinking gin and juice. Was it gin and juice? Okay. Gadget juice and non gadget times. And I, I don't know what the non gadget times means. I, 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 I don't, I don't know what it means. Um, he's going to be interesting for us. And he kind of hinted that he's going to make the 53 man roster thing is, you know, between Zeke, um, Rico Daddle, um, Royce Freeman, and now Deuce Vaughn, you know, you, you've got a lot of guys at running back, but this is going to have to be running back by committee. Now, the question here is, now, now pro football, the boys, you know, skip, skip, skip. You know, the boys at pro football focus, they watch a lot of football, skip. And, you know, for this offseason, this preseason, they have Deuce Vaughn, as the number four rated running back, it, which is kind of interesting because, you know, he didn't play in that first preseason game. He didn't play. He only played in two games. He averaged 6.2 yards per carry. Now, that's pretty, pretty good, Skip. The question is, when you have a guy who's five foot six, 176 pounds, can they be effective? Can you trust... A person of his stature what reminds me see i one thing i do here on this channel is i'm old let's be clear here i'm gonna be 59 come october i'm, I'm at my late 50s here guys okay and i i feel blessed for every day that i've been on this planet but one thing um being old has afforded you is seeing a lot of football and i remember the Washington Redskins. I, I, you know, I didn't say commanders. I said Redskins. Because I don't know that you can equate, really, John Riggins with the commanders. The commanders have been a failure so far. So, well, I mean, you know, you have to at least go back and give them props for what they were, were. And during the 80s, you know, Joe Gibbs came to Washington with his Air Coriel um, offense and realized he didn't have the players for that offense. He had a, a really good running run blocking offensive line a very slow bruising back in john riggins and he decided to come up with the one back offense which really wasn't a one back because you actually took the fullback and made him kind of a hybrid between fullback and tight end but during those early 80s like you know 79 to 85 washington had basically they they, they played running back kind of by committee they had John Riggins, who was your bruising back. You know, he's going to run you over. He was known as the Diesel. But their third down back, I don't know how many of you guys have heard the name, Joe Washington. Here's what's interesting about Joe Washington, because Joe Washington was another very small running back. He was five foot nine. You know, he's about three inches taller than, than Deuce was, but he was only 179 pounds. Now, keep in mind, 
Deuce is actually stockier because he's 5'6", 176. He's only three pounds lighter than Joe Washington, who was three inches taller. So you've actually got a little bit more beef in there. And the thing about Joe Washington was he was that change of pace back that, you know, you, you, when, when you're a defensive lineman and stuff, you know, you're in there and you're just getting pounded upon by this big running back that's running up the middle and things, right? And you're playing in short space. All of a sudden, you get a speed back that hits you. And to make it worse, Joe Washington, behind the hogs, you couldn't see him. So all of a sudden, you know, you're hitting your guy and all of a sudden you see this guy flash and he's on the outside. Now I got to take off and haul ass after I've been pounded on. And I'm going to tell you, if you go from, you know, being pounded on, on the offensive lineman to now having to sprint after guys, we're talking about torn muscles here, guys. We're talking about being sore as hell. We're talking about hard to shift. And oh my God. Do you see what I just see? Do you see what I see? I haven't been here for a couple of days. 11 days, y'all. 11 days till kickoff. Oh, my God. It's that close. So, the thing with Deuce Vaughn is, I hope that he, A, makes the roster, and I think his dad working for the organization may help that some. But B, that they actually use him as a change of pace back. Because the thing that's really kind of interesting with him is he is quick. And he is elusive. He's very low to the ground. And he's stocky enough that he can actually, boom, kind of get up under your pads and make some plays. And I think that maybe it would behoove them to make some packages more, you know, because what, what typically will happen to somebody, you know, your fourth down, your, your fourth running back or your third running back, typically they're going to be more of a special teams player. But I think they actually need to use him um, in the running game. I really do. Because you have some guys, you lose a guy like that and he just pops out, flashes, it's going to be tough. So hopefully he's one of those guys that definitely makes the roster. And uh, we'll find out in the next 48 hours or so. Um, we will be doing our live stream in about an hour from now, the member call-in show. I'm going to go ahead and get set up for that. So um, hopefully you guys will tune in and give us your thoughts and things. Um, I definitely want to talk a lot about Jerry Jones and, of course, you know, Gadget Juice. Um, but also talk about um, Jerry Jones' Venom and this grudge that he's holding because of the Green Bay game. Is CD's Lamb contract negotiations really just a fallacy? That they never have any intention to sign Dak or CD because he's trying to hold that over their heads? Um, I think it could blow up in his face, but what do I know? I'll see you guys at 5 o'clock Eastern. Peace out.